Hoshi Tambo, first edition Tokyo 1950s razor. And I have uh, Kita, a nice dull yellow that brightens up when you add water, and a King 1000. Setting the bevel on the King with diagonal strokes. <clears throat> so that in the microscope they're seen very clearly as diagonal. A good bright scratch pattern here. This is what you're looking for in the bevel setting stages for your razors, where the scratch pattern goes all the way to the very edge and begins all the way down at the base of the bevel and if the scratch pattern is on both sides and they both look equally defined then you have uh, in essence a perfectly set bevel and let me focus that really tight and I'll take a photo as a marker Set the king aside. Here's the kita. Splash a little water on it. And I have a very mellow, worn out Atoma diamond plate to raise a slurry. This kita stone is fairly hard, so the slurry does not give up easily. Hard, sort of hard to raise a slurry. And I'm just going to do the mi minimum number of strokes to begin with. There's one, two, three, and you notice I'm using straight on strokes instead of diagonal. So they'll be in contrast with the scratches from the king. So that was with just four strokes. Mm -hmm. That was with just four strokes. And you can see already the greater portion of those uh, king scratches are gone. But that's with just four strokes. We're going to obviously add more. So I'm going to add another six, and I'll do ten on each side. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So that's ten per side. This is 
me rearrange my tripod here a little bit. Okay, so this is what the edge looks like now after just 10 strokes. And I'll scroll along the edge so you can see this is happening all the way along here. There's just the remnants, shadows of a very shallow profile scratches from the king left. There's a heavier one. But if you take into consideration, this is what we began with. There's quite a big difference here. Now, that's developed with just 10 strokes from that kita. So, again, I'll take a quick photo of this and focus in really tight. Okay, and next I'm going to go back to the kita and I'll just do another short series of five on each side. So this is going to make a total of 15 altogether. And this is a lighter slurry. So we've ended up with 21 strokes per side total. Here is the edge now after 21 strokes. <clears throat> and that's a very tight focus right there. And I'll go down to the bevel. You can see some of the remnants of the 1000 grit scratches. They're pretty much gone. And we're going to scroll along the base of the bevel line here. And you can see there will be some, <clears throat> you know, where, where the scratches were very deep at one time. Now they're very shallow. The base of the bevel, by the way, is the shiny part that's polished from the factory of the razor. And we'll follow up, go up to the edge of the razor, and we'll see that all those king scratches are gone. We have a nice even uh, bevel on the razor. So the next step would be to do some stropping. And <clears throat> I have a shell horse hide strop I'll rinse the razor off here And I have some pieces of hair. This happens to be from my one of my family members. Get those long pieces out of the way here. Okay, so here's a piece of hair. And that landed back towards my fingers so that 
I consider to be a HHT4. That fell on the other side. That would be closer to a 5. And that came back over to this side, so that would be, again, what I consider a 4. And that would be a 5. I could maybe strop this razor just a tiny bit more. So that would equal 30 strokes total of stropping, which is um, a lot of fellows might strop 50 or, or 100 times, I'm not sure. Now oh, that uh, was easy, that was still a 4. Bounce back here on the side. That was a 5, that just laid down away from my finger. And this is out of the toe. It's a little weak out of the toe. That wasn't too bad, that was just um, about 5 millimeters in from the toe. This is at the heel. And that was a violin. So this razor is worth shaving with right now. I've shaved and tested this razor previously and these kind of HHTs, 4s and 5s, uh, actually have a, a butter smooth type edge with this razor. These Japanese razors are really comfortable to shave with. And this is a, sort of a shorter razor, so uh, face-wise you can get into some nice little areas around your beard or uh, under your nose, things like that. So that was a little case study. This took uh, 12 minutes to take a razor from Shave Ready to uh, shave right or from bevel set to shave right. Oh, by the way, I think I'll just look at this razor once in the one more time in the uh, microscope at the edge we've created, and you'll see the stropping did brighten up the edge quite a bit, the bevel near the edge. And so we have a nice straight uh, edge on this razor. And another thing I'll just illustrate is I do have in my queue over here an uh, image of a piece of hair. This is human hair. And this is photo was taken with the same magnification as I'm using right now for this this uh, honing study. So you can see the scratch pattern uh, that's left by this razor or by the, the uh, Kita is just overwhelmingly fine when compared to that human hair photo. So this illustrates uh, a little bit how you know shave ready this this blade would really be. So that's the end of that.